Oh, hey! <laughs> kind of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Oh, sure. I mean, if you're going to be my assistant, it's in my best interest that you stay alive, right? Besides, I guess the original owner isn't coming back to pick it up. So you're the closest thing to an inheritor. Here. Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the waste that you do. If I tried half of these things, I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> At least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? And between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. That's the spirit, trusty research assistant. I'm still working out the kinks in the first chapter. I'm calling it Survive. It's about dealing with the day-to-day -day needs out there. Finding food and water, avoiding hazards like radiation and traps, that sort of stuff. Why, I'm an inventor, a tinkerer, and a general genius of junk. One person's junk is another's treasure, you know. And traders bring in lots of junk, so I get dibs on anything particularly nifty. Sure, I don't have as much to sell, but it's more fun this way. Have fun out there, okay? Hey, hey, looking to buy? Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got.
pleasure doing business with you. I scour the wasteland for the very best pieces of trash, the height of detritus, and the veritable pick of the litter. It's all valuable to someone. And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. See you out on the road, huh? Welcome. Dibs on their stuff.
My sympathies go out. Dibs on their stuff. on their stuff. What's up?
Vanessa. Here. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? You did? You did! Well, all right! Tell me all about it. You do what you need to do to get food and medicine, I guess. It's not pretty, but I guess that's the way it's got to be, right? Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. <laughs> Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, I guess I can wait a little. I've got plenty of other projects to work on. But come back soon and help out. It's for an important cause. 